what's up guys jay more than ever kill and i'm back here on destiny live in the tower and it's friday and we all know what friday means on my motherfucking channel right <laughs> that's right it's time for another visit from Jur, the agent of the nine he is the rare npc that shows up in the tower once every week on a friday and he stays until sunday more than about 48 hours and with him he brings a backpack full of exotic gear and weaponry and he's located at random locations throughout the tower every week and today he is located in front of the big scary doors of the tower next to all this scaffolding where all the uh, non-union contract workers are working hey get back to work up there <laughs> finish my dlc i want the house of wolves for some reason i i feel like this door is gonna open one day and we're gonna see what's going on back there what's going on back there dick face we call him dick face because he has about 17 dicks coming out of his face although you can't see him because uh qnz boro 718 over here is giving him a good fucking face job <laughs> oh baby he's giving it to him all over his face Ew. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what Jure brings with him this week. He's brought with him a, a darkness infused weapon frame. Look at that. Mac is on an exotic bounty. Let's go ahead, pick that up, and check out what kind of progress we need to do. We got to bring that weapon frame to the gunsmith. You goddamn better guarantee that we're going to do that later on after we're done taking a look at what Jure has. So. These are weapon telemetries. These allow you to level up your weapons just a little bit faster. And if you use it with a trick where you go ahead and equip one of your weapons and you turn in a bounty and you get all the XP from the bounty on your weapons and you use these telemetries with them, you can level up your weapons somewhere around 20% faster than normal. And that is a significant increase. So uh, they only cost one strange coin for five telemetries. And we have hand cannon fusion rifles and rocket launcher telemetries and oh <laughs> what a surprise sure brings with him some rocket launchers i'm actually gonna pick one of these up right here though because uh well, well you'll see you'll see I, I got something that i want to use this for while leveling up so uh we also have vehicle upgrades these will turn a blue legendary well a <laughs> blue legendary a blue sparrow into a legendary rarity sparrow but if you already have the dark below dlc and you bought it before january 15th you probably have the awesome tumbler and before that guy comes back to my goddamn fucking video he's like mac why do you always pimp out the tumbler why are you on the tumblers nuts because it does flips, motherfucker, and it does tricks. Same reason why I love your mom. <laughs> Ooh, baby, she tricks herself out good. Damn. You just, you went there. <laughs> we went there, came back, and I'm wearing a t-shirt, motherfucker, that says, I boned your mom. And I ate your cereal, motherfucker. Pow! Clicker. Pow! <laughs> Come to my channel talking shit. And you get fucking roasted. So these are upgrades for exotics that you already have pre-DLC. What this does is you turn in your old exotic with a shard and a boatload of glimmer. And you will get a fresh 331 leg uh, exotic that needs to be leveled up just a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm all over the place today. It's Super Bowl weekend. And tomorrow, well, yeah, tomorrow because it's Friday in the morning. Uh, I'll be going to pick up maybe a new car well not a new car it's an old car but it's new to me so pretty fucking excited and my mind's all scattered brain and i'm just like let's just get through this <laughs> so we have an upgrade for the Surus regime the thorn the universal remote the pocket infinity the icebreaker super good advice the sunbreakers yet again <laughs> the skull of dial amakara we we have already fucking dismantled three of these on our channel already and we got the crust of alpha poopy the Helm of Inmost Light, Young Amakara's Spine, and Mask of the Third Man. It's actually really uh, funny because this is Young Jeezy's future uh, relative later on in the future, Young Amakara. He, he's from the Young Jeezy family bloodline. <laughs> so actually, hold on, maybe do I have a... Do I have a non-upgraded Universal Remote on me? I don't. I have a No Land Beyond on me. We'll talk about that another day. <laughs> Mac, why do you got a No Land Beyond? I thought you said you weren't buying it. I didn't. It dropped for me. Let's not talk about that. But we have uh, Exotic Engrams this week for Gauntlets. If you take this, you get a random chance at a Gauntlet for any class. So if you are going to roll the dice, make sure uh, you're willing to pay the price. Oh, I rhymed! 
That comes from Young Amakara's fucking quest line to spawn. Uh, uh, we're rhyming all day long, man. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't buy one of these because I don't really need any. I've already got these don't touch me bros right here when Jure came around last time. These are 100% upgraded and we can already see that Jure is selling the don't touch me bros for the hunter. Now, let, let me just tell you, if you are a hunter and you do not buy these gauntlets, you're fucking stupid. These gauntlets are free gear every week. If you buy this, I will put up a video tomorrow showing you how to use these with the blade dancer and you can just walk through the pit on hard mode if you want. And, uh, have no problem with the thrall. They make you go invisible from melee attacks. And if you, if you use it with the shadow jack, shadow jack makes it last eight seconds, not four. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a video on that tomorrow. Actually, maybe later on tonight, too. I actually have the footage already there of me just walking through hard mode. Well, it's not really walking through. It still takes a little bit of, uh, little bit of, I guess, manipulation of the mechanics of the lamps <laughs> making your way through. So let's go ahead and see. He's selling the Starfire Protocol again. God damn it, wizards out there, warlocks. I feel really bad for you. I'm sorry I called you wizards too. You guys, if, if it's not the fucking Void Fang vestments or these goddamn Sunbreakers, this is now the new fucking... This is the new Void Fang vestments. <laughs> These allow you to get an additional fusion grenade. However, it does not stack with the other skill that's already inside your skill tree that allows you to have another grenade there. I want to make sure I let you guys know that before I tell you that because I did say the first time these came around, I was like, I wonder if those can stack with grenades. Everybody came here, they're like, Mac! They can't stack with grenades! I ain't giving out bad information! I was like, I'm not giving out bad information, motherfucker! I said, I wonder! And you're like, well, you wondered wrong! And I'm like, whoa... Sorry. <laughs> you guys get so worked up over everything, man. Just calm down. Relax. Don't do it. <laughs> Frankie says relax, motherfucker. So, what else do we have here? The MK44 stand aside. So, it looks like if you're not a hunter, you're shit out of luck this week. Because he's already had these, like, for, like, the last three weeks for the Titan, I'm pretty sure. And now we got the uh, Starfire Protocol. What these do, these allow you to use your shoulder charge, your... Excuse me, sir. I'm coming through here. You, you get to use that just a little bit longer. And you get to carry more ammo for heavy weapons, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I do have the same perk on my boots here. And uh, that gives me seven rockets with a Galahorn. So if that gives you anywhere near the same, that's quite a bit of rockets with a Galahorn. Seven of them motherfuckers. <laughs> so he's also selling the Dragon's Breath Rocket Launcher, which... This allows you to have three tubes in one shell, and this leaves a little bit of a solar flare, kind of like the uh, Warlock's grenade when he's using a Sunsinger. Uh, this is actually a really cool rocket launcher. It has a really huge blast radius, but uh, it's it's niche. If you, if you don't really use exotic rocket launchers very often, you could probably get a buy without buying it this week. But if you like it because of the cool paint job, like the old P-40 Warhawks, and uh, you got the old site that looks like the old uh, Warhawks, the airplane site that was on the nose of the plane. It's really cool, really fun to use. It's actually really, really strong too, but it doesn't hold a candle next to uh, the Galahorn at all. Uh, if you have a one-way ticket too from the Vanguard, you probably can skip this over. But I have seen people using this Pyromancer uh, upgrade right here to uh, lag out Crota and push him off with that because... Uh, enemies will walk away from these uh, DOT grenades that lay on the ground. So uh, we, we've actually pushed Fogoth off <laughs> using a bunch of these one time. Maybe maybe I'll get you guys a video of that, but it's been a while since we were able to push Fogoth off. I'm not sure if Bungie patched it or not, but we've only got that to work like once or twice. I still might have footage of that laying around too. I, that's so much footage. I, I'm like, I want to make all these videos for you guys. And I just never get around to it. <laughs> so I just have like fucking three hard drives filled with goddamn shit. So let's go ahead and head on out because this is his uh, inventory this week. We kind of got done just a little bit early. But I did promise you guys last week to show you what I was going to get from those exotic helmet engrams. So uh, I, I will show you what I picked up from that. But I, I, I want to keep the opening of those engrams kind of, uh, 
I guess, exclusive to the live stream that I did. Because I did tell the people, it's like, hey, you know, if you watch my jure, I will be uh, doing a live stream later on if you want to see what I'm doing. And a lot of people did come by to see what I got out of those exotic Engram. So I want to send a big shout out to all them motherfuckers out there. So this is what we ended up picking up. We picked up a Warlock helmet and also the ATS Arachnid, which if you use this, it allows you to get super zoom on your golden gun. Woo! Yeah, because I, I really want to lose my extra shot with the golden gun for zoom, right? Zoom, zoom. <laughs> this isn't a Mazda commercial, motherfucker. So we got to go over to the gunsmith and possibly pick up a bad juju. You got my bad juju? What you got? What you got for me? Darkness infused pulse of rifle. What do I got to do? Defeat Guardians in a Crucible. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> That's where all my fucking exotic bounties end up. Look, let's check this out. Crucible. Crucible. I gotta do that Nightfall with the, uh... Actually, this might be a really good week to do that. I can just get that done really fast with the Murmur. And, uh, this right here, I'm gonna actually let you know, a lot of people were asking, what the fuck is this right here? This is actually a duplicate exotic bounty of something that I already have. So, uh, it's, it's not allowing me to start that quest line until I finish one of these to find out exactly which duplicate I have. But I don't want to get rid of it because it might be, might be worth it to get an extra shard later on. So, I'll finish them up one day. We don't have any fusion rifles, so nothing for you guys there. We're gonna go ahead and get my weekly ammo synths up. And I, I promise you guys something a little special since I didn't do the helmet engrams last week. We're gonna go ahead and Pow, baby! I just leveled up that new monarchy, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a package. Hopefully we get some engrams or something that makes us exciting. Let's go, baby, go! Oh, I got another Crusader! What? 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 What's the roll on it? What's the roll? Please tell me it has fire. It does not have Firefly. Does it have Field Scout? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what a poopy, what a fucking poopy crusader, man. That is not very good. I mean, the range, yeah, but when you compare this to my fang of your tit, hell no, baby. When you compare it to my, my satyrene rapier, hell no. I... I don't want to get rid of this, though, because it's a new monarchy weapon, but it's poop. So poop. I don't want to do it. Goodbye, Crusader. Fare thee well. I hardly knew ye. A boo-hoo. <laughs> God damn it, Bungie! Why must you give me the gun I want? With none of the perks I want. Not even one. Not even Field Scout. I could have I could have worked with Field Scout. I can't work without any of the perks. I need I need some Field Scout or Firefly on there for me to pick that up. That's why I like this Fang of Year tit. Look at this shit. With that Field Scout on there, 27 in the magazine, arc damage, and it does extra damage to fucking Hive Majors. Psh! This thing, this thing never leaves. Well, I'm lying because I'm actually upgrading this three little words right here. Uh, but... Uh, it, it never leaves my slot when I'm actually playing, but when I'm actually upgrading weapons, it doesn't matter. That's exactly what I was telling you guys. You can see, you just put the weapon on, you turn it in your bounty, and all the XP from the bounty, like you see right here, this says uh, you're going to get 2,500 XP. All that XP goes for the weapon that you equip before you turn in your bounty, and then when you get a little bit of extra uh, extra XP on weapons you're not using, you can level them up. It's uh pretty cool. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. It is an exciting weekend. Uh, I, I got some shit going on on Saturday. I got some Super Bowl going on on Sunday. And then Monday, hopefully all the weather will be cleared up and I can go out drive my my new toy <laughs> i'm so excited i just can't hide it i'm about to lose control and i think i like it also don't forget to get you don't touch broke gloves i'm serious
You're gonna want that, especially after you see what them motherfuckers can do. So, like I said, my name's Jay. What an after kill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys. Ah, you thought I was gonna jump off, didn't you? Well, you thought wrong. <laughs> you thought I was gonna jump off, didn't you? I'm not jumping off. I'm gonna see you guys. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna... Ooh, look at me. It's so dangerous, guys. Is it gonna die? Oh! <laughs> I actually didn't mean to do that. But I'm gonna see you guys later.